is a demo of an upcoming mod called the New Order, Old World Blues, and as you can kind of tell, Germany won World War II. This is like the 1960s, and uh, I guess little Angry Mustache Man is about to die, and there's gonna be a whole lot of infighting to see who exactly gets to take the rest of his empire. Yeah, I mean, he's definitely seen better days, but I like it. He's still sexy, even on his deathbed. I like the gray mustache. The gray skinny mustache looks a little bit better. He's always gonna be a trendsetter. Francisco Franco has also aged quite a bit, just not as well. He's... He's actually disgusting. It, I, I can't even look at this face. But at least his empire looks good. He unified with Portugal. There's a little Iberian Union and uh, got a bunch of Western African territory. So he's looking strong. You might notice the borders look a little bit weird around the Mediterranean. And I'm assuming that's because of that, like, you know, famous theory of how the Germans were going to dam off the Strait of Gibraltar and it let this whole thing disappear. I guess we'll see how that works out for him. I think the most interesting part about this scenario, though, is how former Soviet territory completely split apart. Like, this is, this is gonna be insane. I, I don't know exactly what's going on, but yeah, it's pretty bad. They're also not a part of the same team, so there's gonna be a lot of infighting. And by the way, the factions are, uh, Germany's in their own thing, and uh, Italy's trying to do that Rome faction. That wet dream's never gonna come true, guys. But Benito's been ousted, or assassinated, whatever you wanna say. I don't really know a whole lot about this scenario. I'm gonna figure it out by the end of this video, hopefully. But uh, yeah, this guy's in charge, and I don't think the other pizza man's gonna show up. There is still one Democratic team, and uh, I guess they're gonna try to keep things together. Maybe they'll win out in this universe. It's Canada, the US, and I think Australia, New Zealand, a little bit, yeah. But uh, it should be fun. Nixon's in charge, so... Uh... <laughs> We'll see how he does. And finally, I think Japan might also have their own internal struggles. This is a lot to hold on to, and I'm sure, yeah, these places can't be too happy. Obviously, the British Isles were successfully invaded in this universe, and uh, we have King Edward VIII ruling over. He's fascist, also uh, Ireland in the same situation. Scotland's all right. They're a liberal democracy. Don't know how that happened. And then Wales, authoritarian democracy. There's also Cornwall. I don't know. It's all messed up. I feel like my money would be on Himmler taking charge after the old man kicks the bucket, although he doesn't really have that much land. I don't know what's going to happen after he dies, but yeah, he just has this part of France. That's it. And somehow this mod did the impossible. He made Michael the first of Romania even more beautiful. I mean, he's pretty beautiful in the base game, but I mean, he's supposed to be like 30 or 40 here and uh, he's, he's looking good. I'm assuming Finland was rewarded when the Soviets fell and they got a little bit of extra land. I thought they were going to get, I don't know, a little bit more. I guess they can. I mean, no one's really going to stop them from getting more of this stuff. And I love this. We actually have a ledger to kind of get a better idea of how everyone's doing. So in terms of factories, the US is the best than Germany, than Italy, surprisingly. And uh, population, India, China, Japan. Okay, they figured that one. Here's a nice touch. The Dalai Lama's become a despot. Uh, he's just ruling Tibet with an iron fist. Man, that's so evil. All right, so something's going down. I don't know exactly what, but I kind of have an idea. Oh, wait, there's more. There's a little bit more. Okay, so how much? Is this, like, gonna be a three-way, four-way war? Maybe that's what it's looking like. Okay, so as you can see, there is no, like, Reich anymore. This is just this is just broken down into things. I wonder if like outside places. So is Himmler not going to do anything about this? Is he just going to watch? We also have a wide mixture of ideologies too. It's not all, I guess, what you would think of. Some familiar faces as well. But uh, yeah, I don't have any idea what this is, but okay. Oh, and both European factions are gone as well. So that just leaves, I guess, the one in North America. And uh, yeah, Japan's still doing all right. And it's not with Hirohito. He's gone too. Brittany just declared war on the French state. Ballsy move there, guys. That's... That's a ballsy move. And then I believe Madagascar's in their own civil war. Something like that. How can you have a civil... Is, it, is that necessary, guys? You both are gonna die from the plague anyways. Wow, I gotta say, been doing this for a while. Played a lot of different Hoi 4 mods. But uh, this is imaginative. Th th this is something we've never seen. Oh, okay, I see why they did it now. So I guess that's kind of a smart move. Although you're probably not gonna get much... These guys, yeah, these guys are gonna take everything over. So things are just breaking down all across the board. It's not just one civil war, it's like multiple civil wars for like former puppet nations or something like that. This is only gonna continue to happen. New places are also starting to pop up here in like the Sahara Desert. I thought it was, I don't know, I thought this universe had this as like a nuclear test site or something because it was just wasteland. That made sense to me. Oh, I like how Free France is still around. I knew that they were here because I saw the ledger, but uh, yeah, they're getting a little bit more stuff. They had just a couple of provinces before. Now they're getting more. You think this guy goes around asking people if they want to know how he got these scars? Because I would genuinely like to know. This, that's pretty brutal. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. South Africa's a gunner, which was uh, a nice stronghold for democracy, but nope, that is probably going to get taken out. What happened to the guy with the eyebrows? That one famous dude with the eyebrows. German, you can't 
You can't miss him. Once you see that face, you never forget it. I haven't found him yet. Honestly, like, who cares who wins in Germany? Like, here's the real winner, to be honest. This was way more intense. I think I'll just end the video here. They're an authoritarian democracy, and in South Africa, we have fascism doing their thing. So, uh, I guess this little team is doing all right down here. Oh, this is their own team, too. This is just in Africa, huh? Wow. Okay, you guys probably get it together up here. Ding, 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 ding. We got a winner, and uh, it's this bald man. I don't exactly... I Well, he kind of looks familiar, I know somewhat of him but uh let's see what he does now but we do also have free england up here in the british isles so maybe there is i don't know some saving that can go down i bet you they join that u.s faction probably i like how some of these nations up here in like the remote areas of siberia just have a little hut that's it that's that's all they have a hut's leading them not bad no authority but even better no authority hut i like that but that was this okay i'm definitely missing like a lot of probably smaller cooler things but uh free aviators uh, a nation full of pilots or something like that. Maybe they were formerly Soviets or something. That's kind of cool. Nixon's gone, and now we have uh, Lyndon B. Johnson. So we'll see if he does anything. A little disappointed that Richard Nixon didn't, like, get involved. That'd have been nice. I don't know where these two places are. Let's just go ahead. Okay, that's what I figured. Very small little thing going on. This is actually the first or maybe the second conflict that arose uh, from this area. Thought there'd be a lot more by now. This took me way too long to notice. Uh, what is going on here? This does not look normal. Um, you guys might have terminal cancer. It's because of the demo. We can't do like a full video. We can't do like a full campaign yet. But in order to not end this in a boring way, let's at least make Japan go to war with America. Which I mean, that doesn't necessarily guarantee anything. This could still not be that interesting to watch. I mean, Australia might fall. That, that's about it. Okay, yeah, so this might be a little bit better. At least, hopefully, there's actually like a conflict going on. I didn't realize that Italy had puppeted Croatia and then... Maybe even Greece, too. I think they did, right? Yeah, Greece also. Okay, that makes sense. By 1967, the Germans now have the most factories, and uh, they got a pretty good lead over the U.S. Japan's kind of catching up. Well, yeah, it's partly because they're taking over Italy. That's the major reason, because, yeah, they're falling. India is still firmly in that top population slot, which is kind of crazy, because they don't even have, like, their normal full territory. This is... Yeah, that... That seems a little much. This area, too, has a lot of population, and it's even tinier. Uh, this is also a Japanese puppet, I believe, so that's interesting. There we go. So in typical German fashion, they've declared war on, like, all their neighbors. Or not even. They have a lot more. I've seen better from you guys. Come on. I'm disappointed. Is that real? There's no way that's real. You can't just kill a squirrel and throw it on your head. Or is that a skunk? I don't know, but you can do better than that. No, but actually, I'm really impressed with how many nations have their own unique portrait. Pretty much almost everyone has a unique portrait, and this is, like, at least 100, if not more. Way more. So the fact that this is just a demo, and they have all this like artwork set up and things like that. This must have taken a long time, but I appreciate it. It's like my favorite part, just looking at all the faces. Yeah, this is really happening here. I guess that makes sense. It actually looks like Japan would have the advantage. This is kind of scary. I don't know what's going on underneath the surface, but you know, just looking at the font sizes, that's all that matters. They look powerful. Wow, I just realized there's also culture in this mod. That's pretty cool. I, I never thought I'd see that from a game like Hoi 4. I mean, you don't really, needed but man this does make things just a lot more interesting i don't think this would be possible but it'd be really cool if every year that goes by we see the mediterranean continue to go lower and lower i mean if you think about it only 20 years have passed since world war ii something like that and you know we already have like this drastic of a change you would assume it continue to go down right oh yeah forgot to mention himmler kind of took over everything i don't know how he did that he just annexed all of it so I don't know, it makes sense. I mean, he definitely belongs in the in the club, belongs in the running. He's a natural. Italy's actually a lot more powerful than I thought, and I just realized that now. I don't know what some of these places are, but yeah, I mean, they've got a lot of puppets kind of all over the place. Anyways, that was the New Order Old World Blues mod. I'm definitely going to keep an eye on it. Hopefully, it is uh, released in its full very soon. I definitely enjoyed it. I mean, this was a lot further along than I thought it was going to be. There's been less and less of these than I've wanted. I feel like a couple months ago, there was a lot more of these, like, I don't think this is oh, total conversion. This is not a total conversion mod, is it? Not really. But, like, these scenario mods, uh, there's been a lot less as of now, which is disappointing because that was, like, some of my favorite parts, just going into the Hoi 4 workshop and seeing how crazy things can get. That's why I've been doing a lot more EU4 lately because I feel like the EU4 mining community has really 
they've been doing some good stuff, and Hoy's been lagging behind. This is the first time I've seen that in a long time, so I'll come back when I see like a mod that I want to play. That's just kind of what I do, just generally, if I'm like, oh, that, that might be kind of interesting to watch. Let's do that. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Big thanks to LVC, Elijah Senpai, Bruce Vacation, Swiss Argo, Maxi G, King Solomon, Ben Mo, Galley, Tanner of the Nazareth, Free Cruise, Mr. Perkelly, Cooter Donkey, Brandon Hinkle, Destiny F 9000, Mega Fat Boy, A Sneaky Gengar, Battle Buddy 1847, James Miller, Mike S is gay, Sleeper 56, Huey Long Dong, and Alfonso M6, Millitime, Double Books, thank you.